I think this is pretty s simple and straightforward. This little piece of uh, retaining wall here, right there, needs to line up with this corner and it doesn't. So I'm going to move it over there so that it does align with the corner, like that. Of course that broke it from the curved section. So I'm going to click on the curved wall and press the Alt key, hold it down, so it'll just follow my drag and reconnect it. See what's that? What is that? Slab specification. I'm not quite sure why why that's there. I'm gonna look at it in an overview. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, I, you must have capped it with a slab. Yeah, okay, there it is. That's a slab, a slab cap you put in there. <coughs> well, that stinks. <laughs> Let me straighten this wall poly line out. See, it's got break points on it. I'm just going to reshape it, I hope. Try to get it up there close to the top. And wait for it to re... Okay. These little, I'm going to just drag those out of there. It just When you're working with the retaining walls like this, it's a little tedious, but uh, they are malleable. It just takes some patience. All those little break points that, are, that uh, for some reason got brought in there, I'm going to just drag those out of there. Try to close that gap up here at the top. Then we'll reform the slab that you capped it with. <coughs> well, there's a lot of break points in here. See, I drag one and then I let the computer catch up to itself. With this one here, I'm going to drag it to that point right there. Hopefully, it'll just snap right into place. and then grab it again. Sim simplifying this line into just a simple arc from all this junk here. You might ask why does it do that? I have no idea. <clears throat> I just know how to, how to fix these things and work with them. I'm not a programmer. But little by little I'm just going to straighten this out. This one here I'm going to drag over here to the other break point. <clears throat> but this this sort of thing is what it takes <laughs> being uh, methodical and have patience yeah that was, I drag, see if I can't drag it over there If you have no patience and you're not willing to be methodical, then I suggest you use some other kind of software. But occasionally you have to do this sort of thing to get it to straighten out. back up and see what that looks like. That yeah, looks okay. Not perfect. Now this slab you might put over the top of it. I'm going to reform it. It's all over here. I'm going to drag this corner over the top of the wall. there if I can. Okay, it's, it, what that error message was is crossing itself. <clears throat> That's kind of to be expected. Now this this line here needs to be straight. 
So this little line here, I'm going to click on it to select it and make it a straight line. Line this up with the brick over there. Now that needs to be curved, so I'm going to curve that one. There we go. Probably needs to be straight out to here. Let me break it there. And take this little arc here and uh, straighten it out. Yeah. <coughs> like I said. Patience is the watchword. Put that over there. That wasn't as bad as I thought. No, it's pretty bad. That's probably close enough. You get the idea. Yeah, that's that looks quite a bit quite a bit better now. <clears throat> Still needs some work. It needs to be straightened up some. The train edging, edging is off a little bit, but I didn't get into this video tutorial to, to make it perfect, but just to clean up. <coughs> if you want uh, these, where a, a retaining wall connects with a, a house, it's just got to be straight. It's got to align with the corners, otherwise you're going to get some ugly looking stuff. That's all, that's all there is to that. And you probably need to adjust your terrain wherever it is, it is. Let me turn the terrain on. Where you go? There it is. <coughs> yeah, I thought it was there, but off. You must have, I don't know how you cut around that. What is that? Oh, I've got it. I'm going to open the dialog box and see what it is. It's a garden bed. Okay. Let me go to plan view and look at that. The garden bed is probably turned off. It's under terrain features, I think. Yeah, they're turned off. Yeah, that bed doesn't, doesn't match. See, when I moved the wall, I didn't move that. So close that over there. That should help a little bit. I'm going to push it into the retaining wall just a little bit so that in overview cameras it doesn't show. Well, we got some kind of... Let me turn on... Elevation data. There's something wrong there. Ah. What does this say? Zero. Zero. Okay. It's probably zero. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to delete these. This one. And just suggest something, something to you that's a little less uh, complicated. <coughs> this, is this one zero? Yeah, it's zero two. I'm going to delete that one. These are all zero. Yeah, they're all zero. Okay, they're all zero. I'm going to delete every one of those. Okay, and I'm going to replace them. I guess that's a zero. Yeah, not to minus four. Okay, we'll leave that one. I'm going to replace that with a uh, elevation region. Like that. <coughs> and I'm going to take that over to here. And 
just like po other, any other poly line, you can break it, put brakes in it, and, resh and reshape it. So this edge here, I'm going to make into a curve. And smooth that right in there. Now, I don't want this... I don't want this over here interfering with the uh, this minus four that you've got here, so I'm going to break it on the corner of the house and just angle it away from that where you put a minus four. <coughs> Let's see what that looks like. Oops. <laughs> well, that's ugly. must be something in okay I got interior plow that needs to be zero that's what the problem is I didn't notice that it took on an automatic value that's better except for this stupid looking thing here now there must be a, an item over here causing that you turn on uh, elevation data there's got to be something in here, or maybe that little line there at I. Ah, no, I think that's a slab. Hole in slab. Wonder why you have. A, oh no, that. I'm sorry. It's just a slab. I think there's. Let me go to the. You can't do this in Pro, but I'm going to go over here to the All Offset to uh, turn all the layers off. It's just a convenient thing that Chief Architect has. And I want to turn on just uh, Elevation Data. Train, yeah, that, nothing on but that. <coughs> okay, we got an interfering piece here. Let's see what this is. Ah, okay. This, the edge of this was interfering with the edge of the one I just put in there. This one here. See how they overlap? You move that over here. The edge is away from from stuff. Now let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that got rid of that bump. When you get two uh, features like that close together, then you can get an anomaly like that. So you want to make sure that they're they're doing their job, but they're separated enough so that they don't create unwanted uh, artifacts. Okay, that's that's fairly fairly cleaned up now. I don't know why that slab in plan view looks so awful. It looks all right in, in uh, camera views. <clears throat> okay, and what I, in Pro you would just uh, go to the, the layer display options and, and turn those layers off and, and all off to get an all, all off and on all, all on set. <clears throat> It's just a convenience. You pay all that extra money in cheap architects for productivity features like that. I think that I perhaps over answered your question, but uh, I think uh, I smoothed the terrain out some without really changing it. And uh, you don't want your terrain to be a problem. And uh, so you keep those features like this separated from this one's minus 99 inches, this one's zero. They have to be separated a little bit. Let me get that over just a little bit. Okay. Uh, thanks for your kind attention. I, I hope it helps you some. Good day.